Good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Okay, yesterday we have finished the our previous topic that was the information system security and the control. Okay, in that we have seen the points like uh, what are the control measures are required, what what can be the different uh, security threats. when we are using the information system and the technology as well as uh, we have seen the different manner using which the criminal can do the crime and accordingly also we have discussed what can be the control measures can be taken okay now our today's point of uh, discussion is the information technology infrastructure and the choices okay now first we need to understand what exactly mean by the infrastructure okay for uh, anything what is your idea about the infrastructure hmm. yes can anybody tell me what do you mean by the infrastructure hmm what is the meaning of infrastructure now uh, you know our daily life okay as you can see we are having our basic needs okay there are the basic needs of uh, particular people who are living in certain society now what are what what are our basic needs our basic needs are like uh, uh, we need to go to the college okay for taking the education uh, then um, okay for the internet uh, entertainment purpose we used to watch the tv okay uh, for the living purpose we need the certain home building etc etc understood so these are nothing but the basic uh, what we can say facilities needed by the certain society yes or no yes sir yes now how this uh, basic facilities can be get fulfill what we need suppose if you want to go to the college what you need you need the road transportation facilities yes or no yes sir if you want to uh, okay uh, live under the shelter okay then you need the some building you need the home understood if you want to uh, uh, okay uh, enjoy some entertainment um, uh, okay programs and uh, during the night we need the light can we live in the darkness no yes or no correct yes sir so that for that purpose we need the power supply correct yes so these are nothing but the what we can say the basic facilities we are needing okay for the our daily routine understood and these are nothing but the some basic facilities needed by the all the people who are living in certain society understood so to full, fulfill these facilities different kind of what we can say uh, the uh, we need the different kinds of uh, uh, you know to fulfill these we need the different kind of facilities like we need the building we need the road we need the power supply so this building roads power supply these are nothing but the called as infrastructure required for the certain people who are living in particular society to fulfill their needs yes or no yes yes sir now my point our point is what what can be the different infrastructure will be required for if you want if you want to utilize the information system in your organization or for your company if you want to utilize the information system what can be the different infrastructure will be required now i explain you what do you mean by the infrastructure for the society i told you we need the infrastructure like building roads power supply etc etc to fulfill the need of the uh, operation of the society 
Now, my question is what? What can be the different infrastructure will be required if you want to utilize the information system in your organization? Software, hardware. Question. Ah, yes. Software, hardware. Yes. So, if you want to utilize the information system in your organization, you need the different facilities. You need the different facilities which will allow us to utilize that information system in the better way. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And for that purpose, we need the different kind of uh, what we can say. Uh, devices, yes or no? You need the different kinds of software programs. You need the different kind of networking facilities. You need the different kind of uh, data management facilities. So these are the things when you are when you want to utilize the information system for your organization. And same thing I have written here. What is information system infrastructure? So this uh, infor uh, the infrastructure that will, we are going to require for the information system that is mostly related with the information technology. Yes or no? Correct. Yes, sir. That's why the title being here, the information technology infra infrastructure and the choices required for the information system. So here I've mentioned the same thing. The information system infrastructure refer to the range of devices in the sense multiple devices technology applications and system standard and the procedure standard and the procedure in the sense rules to utilize that application that the individual user or the organization depends on or rely on to work in the different organizational task and the process so if you want to perform the different organizational task and the process and if you want to make it uh, easy for all your employee, customer, supplier to uh, utilize that, all these things. So we are utilizing the information system. And to run that information system properly, we need to maintain the particular infrastructure. That infrastructure consists of the various kind of hardware devices, technology, various kind of softwares like the application and system, and various kind of standard rules that will be followed by the that particular user or the organization who is utilizing that information system. Okay. So below in more detail also I have written here, the infrastructure components includes hardware, software, networking components in the uh, basic uh, software, which is required there. The operating system is the system software, which need to be there on your computer. Uh, various techniques related with the data storage, data storage devices, okay, data management devices. So all these things are needed. So all these things comes under the information system infrastructure requirement. Okay, got the basic idea? Yes. Yes. And in again, in short, I have mentioned the same thing in the different way. The IT infrastructure consists of the physical devices, like under the physical devices, all the things related with the hardware comes, then the software application and the people who are going to utilizing that information system or who are people who are going to maintain that information system that everything comes under the IT infrastructure required for the information system. Okay. So this infrastructure, basically how the infrastructure is developed. Now infrastructure is developed depends on the need of the organization. I hope all of you are agree. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what are the basic need? Each particular organization can have the different needs and based on that, the infrastructure is chosen and developed. So keeping also during the choices of the infrastructure also need to take care of what is the need of the customer. Okay. How the, how you can provide the better service to the customer. What is the need? What are the needs of the suppliers? Okay. And what are the needs of the business processes, which are there in your organization? So keeping in mind, keeping in mind all these needs, the <coughs> uh, choice or the decision related with the selection of the information technology infrastructure is taken place for certain information system. Okay. Now again, here in more details, uh, if now if the question will be asked, uh, if the question will be asked, then uh, you need to mention, you need to uh, write these things in detail. So in details, we have uh, taken the one uh, uh, particular point one by one, like first thing, that comes in the IT infrastructure, 
here i have mentioned the point different things including the it infrastructure in detail so first important thing is nothing but the different computing platform first thing is what different computing platform computing in the sense what what is what do you mean by the computing yes computing means what hmm what is the meaning of computing you are the students of computer engineering operation performed by the computer for what purpose computer perform the operation connect the organization to do some processing and get the result yes sir yes, yes so which are the different processing platform okay first point that include in the it infrastructure is what computing platform then tell me which are different computing platform are there computer laptop so basically the computers the main if you call the computer is nothing but the computing platform that is essential uh, what we can say the infrastructure element that will be required to run your information system so that's why i have written the first one computing platform that connect the organization with its customer and the supplies now there can be utilization of different kind of computers like the main from computers which is having the highest processing capability then the mid range computers certainly having the less capacity of processing for that purpose you need to utilize the laptop or you can also utilize the desktop computer also that is the first essential point i hope you have got this computing platform yes yes, yes sir. sir second important one we need the different kind of telecommunication devices for what purpose and what are the different telecommunication devices connecting purpose for Mobile. the communication purpose understood Mobile. if you want to talk with your uh, supplier uh, uh, which is not in your city you need to utilize the mobile services yes or no phone yes, yes sir. sir so this this come so under the telecommunication devices comes the different things which is required for the connectivity to the employee connectivity to the customer connectivity to the supplier and this connectivity you can get from what the mobile services or the phone correct yes sir so that is the second important third important infrastructure include is nothing but the data management services and for what purpose it will be required now you tell me data management services for what purpose storing the data for storing the data exactly for managing the data correct so here yes, i have sir. written the for storing the data properly for managing the data properly and analyzing the data properly you need to utilize the different management services for that purpose uh, number of uh, dbms facilities are available there i hope you are getting the minimum of dbms you are learning that subject correct okay yes sir so for managing the database we need the different management services data management services database in the sense what certain data is being arranged in the certain particular structure format correct yes sir so that is the third point data management services then <clears throat> we need a different kind of application softwares okay as we have seen in the rt infrastructure one important component is all the softwares in that there can be the system software and there can be the application software can anybody tell me the difference between the application software and the system software system softwares are in built and application softwares we can download and install in build system software we can application software and user share requirement sati user requirement and system software for the requirement of the system to run yes sir can anybody tell me the example of any application software and the system software have you utilized any system software up till now have you utilized any application software up till now yes sir now tell me the names 
currently you are utilizing currently we are utilizing which kind of software can anybody tell me whatsapp uh, uh, application software sir that is the zoom yes sir now for uh, now this zoom is fulfilling the need of the exact need of the uh, what you can say user yes or no yes where we have installed uh, now you my you you have installed the zoom on the your mobile correct now you, you know to run your mobile what you need which kind of software will need Yes, exactly you need the operating system and i am i have installed the zoom on the computer here desktop so here also i need the operating system yes or no yes sir so operating system is nothing but the very good example of what which kind of software system, system software system software understood so here in it infrastructure we need the different kind of system software also different kind of application software also and here i have taken the here we have taken the application software that required to increase the capability of organization and basic important application software which need to be installed there are nothing but our information system itself and here i have mentioned the some uh, basic uh, uh, example of the information system like the erp erp is the information system yes or no Yes, sir. What is the long form of ERP? Enterprise resource planning. Enterprise, Enterprise resource, resource planning. planning. Then there can be another information system like the SCM that is related to the supply chain management. This is specifically built for the suppliers. Then for the specific information system can be there for the customer itself only. That is the customer relationship management. And there can be a, a whole uh, separate information system for the manager levels. That is nothing but our management information system. So these all things comes under the which kind of software? Application software, which is shared by the entire organization. Understood the fourth point, which comes under the yes, IT sir. infrastructure. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's see the next important one: different kind of hardware management services. hardware management services like what now you need to manage the hardware in the sense you need to manage the uh, what we can say basic installation on the computer system here i have mentioned physical installation required for the computing correct now first requirement for the computing is what you need to be there you need you need to have the operating system on your computer correct yes so for that purpose you need to there is a need of installation of operating system okay this comes under the hardware management services then all the things which is required to uh, establish the telecommunication that all things also comes under the hardware management services and data management etc etc so things which is required things which is required like the things like the physical installation of different kind of things required for the computing uh, things required for the telecommunication data management etc etc so all the things related with the managing the hardware Uh, required for the computing telecommunication and the data management that all the things comes under the hardware management services here i have written the its basic example physical installation of different things which is required for the computing telecommunication and the management okay then when you are utilizing the information system there is a need of the it standard services it standard services means what certain rules and the procedures for what purpose to utilize that information system you are getting my point means what uh, if somebody want to utilize the information system uh, okay then he need to follow some rules and the procedures okay what we can say in the general term manual you got the point manual for uh, utilization of some information system correct yes sir like you when you purchase some uh, uh device like the washing machine or the fridge along with that one manual come that manual indicate what how you can utilize that device in the similar way if the certain employees customer supplier want to utilize the information system there is also certain manuals used to be there which indicates or which gives the idea how you can utilize that information system services correct that that point come under the it standard services understood this point yes it standard services 
Yes, sir. Simply the uh, what what are the different steps to utilize certain information system? Here I have written certain rules or the policies. Okay, determine the manner in which information technology and the system can be get utilized. Okay. Last important thing include in the IT infrastructure is nothing but the IT education services. What do you mean by the IT education services? Hmm. IT education services. Yes. What do you mean by the IT education services? Yes, Tejas. What can be the IT educational services? Can you able to read this statement? Hmm. What do you mean by the IT education services? Now in your company, uh, it is not possible that every employee who is working is the experienced employee. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Some employee get recruited newly. There is a need to give training to that employee. Correct? Yes. So yes, before giving the training, it required uh, what kind of requirement of uh, what what kind of training need to be given to that employee? Understood? Yes. So that thing like identifying the identifying the training requirement and providing training to the employee and the managers is nothing but the IT education services. Correct? Yes, sir. Simple. Understood this point? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now next, uh, now related with the same uh, components related to the IT infrastructure required for the information system to run in the organization. Next point I have just uh, taken. What kind of things we need to be consider? Okay, what kind of things we need to be consider related with that IT infrastructure? And that point I have just mentioned here, the IT infrastructure choices. Means what? As I as I already know, we need the computer hardware, software, data management services, etc. etc. But the choices can be a different for the different organization, correct? Yes or no? Sir. Choices in the sense, if you suppose. Now, it is compulsory that if you want to utilize the uh, information system, the computer hardware always required there. Yes or no? Correct. Now, this computer hardware can be the similar for each and every organization. Its capacity will be similar or the different. It can be a different. Yes or no? Because what I said, the need of the organization is the different. Each organization is having the different need. So there is a need to, there is a need to decide the hardware configuration required for a certain organization. Yes or no? Yes. What do you mean by the hardware configuration? Jagdale. Hmm. What do you mean by the hardware configuration? What factors need to be considered related with the hardware configuration? Hmm. Why shall we? Now, when you go for purchasing new computer laptop, what factor you consider? Storage capacity. Storage capacity. That is the part of the hardware configuration, yes or no? Yes, sir. Baruba Napan Bakto Kapla Kiti hard disk kiti what how much hard disk you need. Tap laptop or to me kaya operation perform karna re. You are getting my point. Yes, sir. So here I have written. So you have to look at the scale of operation to be covered, amount of data to be get generated, and the amount of data need to be get processed at the present time and the future time. 
so using that laptop or the computer how much processing you will need to be perform whether you are going to install some heavy software on that heavy software like now in case of our computer field world we don't have that much of heavy software need to be utilize okay in your educational purpose i am saying but if you see the cad cam i hope you are having the some you have you must have heard about the cad cam softwares cad cam software yes, have sir. you heard Sir, for yes, which sir. branch these softwares required mechanical mechanical tar ta cad cam software sathi processing power kay lagte jast lagte as well as the storage capacity also required more and the speed is also required more so if you want to utilize the cad cam kind of software then the hardware configuration must be strong processing power must be strong that kind of things so for the organization they also need to consider on the hardware configuration that to be chosen for different client computer as well as for the different servers they are going to utilize where they are going to install the information system and where they are going to utilize the information system understood so here also i have written we have to decide on the configuration of servers and the configuration of the client computers now what is the difference between the server and the client server computers and the client computers what is the difference hmm vaishali what is the difference between the server computers and the client computers yes what is the difference between the server computer and the client computer uh servers mean it a particular piece of data upon our sync or the kiva store to client computers client computers are a service server computers are connected as the connected as the both are the computers both are the computers but here the operating system that we might install will be different understood you might have heard about the windows 2008 servers okay so there are the specific operating system are there which are being installed on the uh, certain computers understood and the client computer we have the general operating system like windows 10 7 like whatever it may be understood so you have to decide on the what what will be the configuration of your computers the computer which is which is being utilized as a servers and the computer which is being utilized as a servers server computer and client computers the configuration sarkas thevun chalel ka nahi server la capacity jast lagel na correct oh. because it is share from the server the data is being getting share to the all the clients yes or no yes sir understood so accordingly there is a need to decide on the computer hardware that is the first infrastructure choice okay got the point yes sir okay so first infrastructure choice related to the computer hardware what can be the hardware configuration need to be get chosen for the different organization based on their needs then comes the point computer software choices okay so computer software choices i mention you the software can be the two type generally the application software and the system software so under the system software the choices come related with the operating system understood so different organization might be choose the different operating system depends on their need okay depends on the uh, security they required etc etc for example windows as compared to the windows uh, with the linux operating system the linux operating system is the better secure than the windows operating system yes or no i hope you know this point yes sir okay so there is a need to decide on the which kind of operating system that will be utilized so before you choose the operating system as a system software to be utilized as a it infrastructure point you need to also think about what kind of different application software you are going to run on that operating system correct 
यस सर जस्ट लाइक आता अपन तुम्हें युबन टूर बगित युबन टूर जे विंडो जर तुम्हें एप्लिकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर यूज करता अपन है ते लिनक्स वर यूज करू शको का नहीं करू शक यस और नो यस सो बिफोर यू डिसाइड द सीस्टीम सॉफ्टवेयर एज ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टीम यू नीड टू ऑल्सो डिसाइड वॉट काइंड ऑफ एप्लिकेशन यू आर गोइंग टू रन ऑन दैट पर्टिक्युलर ऑपरेटिंग सीस्टीम अंडरस्टूड एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट दिकंड चॉइस दैट इज रिलेटेड विद द computer software choices so that choices are nothing but the choices of the system software where you can see the choices related to the operating system and choices related with the another kind of software that is the application software understood so you need to choose the system software as operating system so that whatever the application you want to run on that uh, operating system that will be run correctly suitably and the easily so that is our second point of the it infrastructure choice that is related to the computer hardware next important comes related with the database okay i hope you know the database nothing but the particular way of storing the data okay now there are the different kind of choices are related with the utilization of the data dbms database management services different kind of database management services are available in the market yes or no yes sir also to manage that data also you need to choose the different kind of language there is a, like uh, you know must be, you must be knowing about the sql yes okay structure query language for the managing the uh, database so choice of the right database a decision on the choice of the database also the important things related with the uh, uh, related with the success of any information system for example here i have taken the mis understood so on which factor you you think the database uh, will be depends choice of the database will depends what do you think when you are choosing the uh, database which things has to be consider like during the choosing the computer hardware what factor we have consider uh what can, what can be the different operation will be get performed whether the operation will be heavy or the uh, less capacity operations or less processing uh, power applications in case of the database also we need to consider these things yes or no yes so if you want to if you want to uh, uh, store and generate large amount of data accordingly the database choice of the database need to be made correct yes so that's that's the reason i have mentioned here the choice of database depends on the scale of the operations scale of the operation in the sense what kind of operation you need you are going to perform okay in that uh, information system which is being installed on certain computer okay and whether uh, that operation is going to generate how much amount of data okay what kind of capacity of data storage you required what kind of uh, processing power you required understood based on that what can be the data management services you will be required to do all these things so based on that the choice of the database is being done understood just like point i have mentioned for example you choose the different database depends on whether you are going to utilize the that information system on the single machine or whether that information system is connected in the lan now if the information system is going to be utilized on the single machine only and if the information system is going to be utilized through the lan where the different departments are connected the choice of the database will be same or the different yes do you understand the question what i said if if the information system is going to be utilized on the single computer only okay that computer is not connected to any other computer this is the one case and second case is what that information system is store is being uh, is is it, it is going to be utilized within a network where number of computers are connected then choice of the database requiring here and the choice of database requiring here will be different or the same <laughs> different different single machine var jar tumhala karaycha asal tar database process aplyala kay lagel database evda powerful lagnar nahi 
yes or no yes but here you need the powerful data management services because here that information system is getting shared within a number of computers here the information system is not getting shared within a, any other computer it is going to be utilized on the single machine so here based on the scale of operation and based on how many people are going to utilize your information system based on that the database choices will be required and based on that the database database management services will be get required understood so this is the third point that is related to the choice of the database next important one communication and the network next important one is what communication and the network now consider the main branch of certain company is in the nashik main branch of a certain company is in the nashik and that company is having the sub branches all over india that company is having the sub branches all over the india but every now company want what everybody should utilize the same information system what everybody should utilize the same information system which is being installed on the servers of the nashik branch you got the point you got the situation what i am saying or shall i repeat repeat the question what i said there is a suppose there is a x company which is situated where main branch of this x companies are where nashik correct yes yes and this company is having the sub branches all over the india like i am showing here now all that sub branches are connected with what its main branch correct yes now what company said the information system will be available being installed on the server which is present at which branch nashik branch correct yes sir but everybody should utilize it how it will become possible through the network through the network through the network understood so all other branches need to be network with this particular uh, what you can say the main branch understood and that is nothing but the comes the another infrastructure choice that is the communication and the network and here i have mentioned the network have brought the entire organization its partner its user customer under the one umbrella on the common it platform making the information on a corporate resource shareable by all so if the branches are being branches are being uh, what we can say are present in the different geography location but they all the branches need to share the same information system what we are going to require there we are going to require the proper communication and the network all of you are agree yes sir and for that purpose we need the different network facilities to be get utilize understood and based on that the decision on network infrastructure can be done whether you need to utilize the lan stands for what local area network lan manje kay the ekach location hai ki barobar geography company cha location kay ekach hai understood then there is a need of lan only okay local area network but if the company's branches are there in the multiple geography location we need the man or the van yes or no yes sir metropolitan area network and the yes, wide sir. area network correct so whether whether the your whether your employees are present in the same location or whether your employees and the branches are present in the different location based on that the choice of the network infrastructure will be done correct so based on that the whether you need to utilize the lan man or van this kind of things will be get decided all of you understood this point yes sir and also wire network or the wireless network these are also the choice 
if you why whether you are going to require the internet if you are what we are discussing the choice related with the communication and the network okay so choice depends on the uh, need of the organization whether the uh, all the employees are at the same place or at the different place based on that the choice of the lan man van wire network or the wireless network this kind of things is being decided whether there is a need of the internet facilities definitely if you have to utilize the wireless network it need the internet facility yes or no correct also need to have the particular certain data speed on which you need to utilize that internet facilities etc etc okay so this is nothing but the fourth choice related with the it infrastructure understood the fourth choice communication and the network yes sir and the last that is the system security and the control okay that is simply related to the previous point we have discussed which comes under the it infrastructure okay so related with the security of the, that information system understood so security can be provided through the yesterday only i have we have discussed the different ways of providing the security uh, based on the uh, consideration of what kind of threats can be there for your information system so security purpose there can be utilization of uh, different kind of antivirus okay different kind of uh, uh, firewalls i told you different kinds of cryptographic technique these all the things can be utilized for the purpose of security of that our management information system or the information system okay so these by considering all these factor the it infrastructure choices are made i hope all of you have got this point yes sir so first choice is related with what first it infrastructure choice hardware computer hardware then second computer software computer software yeah. third database database and database management services the kind of things required for the managing the data to store the data in particular way etc etc then fourth communication communication and, and the network and lastly we have discussed the system security and the control required for the certain uh, information system or the management information system okay so that's it from this point okay all, i hope all of you have got the point it infrastructure choices require for the information system number of times this question being asked for the 4 to 8 marks okay any difficulty in this point no sir okay so that's it from the today lecture thank you all of you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir